Hello world, and we are back. And my name's Kyle Fischel, and this is gonna be episode 31 of my poker vlog. If you're new to the channel, do you ever read my blog? It's gotten a lot better. Last week I had a pretty decent session at the 1-2 table, but I stepped it up to 2-5 as I got a little bit of confidence back after a pretty long grind and some studying across the week. And I have a few interesting hands from that session to go over. So first interesting hand, while I'm actually waiting for the 2-5 table, I'm at a 1-2 table with six limpers to meet. I am on the button with king-queen offsuit. I'm definitely gonna raise it up here, probably have a better hand than most of the limpers and as well as being on the bun i could play it in position and navigate most flops so i raised it to ten dollars i could go higher but i think everyone's just gonna call anyway and i i kind of need to connect to continue with the hand anyway so ten dollars six people call so seven ways to a flop flop is king queen nine with two clubs Action checks all the way to the cutoff, who leads out for $35. And at that point, I'm just like, Whoa, man, you just ran through a big pile of dog shit. Okay, so this particular player, he's on his like third buy-in, and it's only like 11 a.m., and I got there at 10. They're running pretty bad, so when a, when a tilting player leads into you, it's very rarely like super strong i never expect him to have jack 10 here and i very rarely expect him to have clubs at best i think it's like king 10 or king jack at best but either way i'm never gonna fold here and for his stack size of only about 80 dollars total so about 50 dollars behind i'm just gonna get it in there and hope to scare off some would be flush draws with a jam for about 180. So I just shove all in and it folds back to him. He calls and turn is a pretty bad one. It's the deuce of clubs. And that made me sweat, not feel too great about it. River is another two. So, you know, I guess if he had aces, that beats me too now. But luckily he shows queen nine for a small cooler. So that's pretty good for me happy about it shortly after that i moved to the two five table first hand with one limper to me in middle position i have ace five of spades i make it 15 dollars, and the button and the limper call so we're going three ways to a flop which comes ace five four two hearts with that i'm definitely going to just bet because every ace is going to pay me off and heart draws as well and just navigate as i go along so I bet about half pot, $25. Both players call, hoping for a pretty unconnected card. The turn is the nine of clubs, brings backdoor clubs. So now with an even more connected board, two flush draws on board and two callers, I'm still gonna bet, but I'm gonna bet kind of a cautious amount. I bet 40. And both players call as well. So at this point, I'm hoping to just fade the clubs and the hearts, and then I'll go for some finish value targeting any ace X that does not have two pair like ace nine. The river is a deuce of spades. So that's a pretty safe card. When it's checked to me, I bet $60. The button calls pretty quickly and the early position player folds. And I announce two pair and then he shows five, three of clubs. That one was quite tilting. <laughs> Made me kind of angry. Even more so the fact that he didn't raise all in or when that two came, he just called. And it's not like I'm ever gonna have exactly six three ever. So you have pretty much the nuts there. I guess thank you for not shoving all in when you only had about 300 and I might be priced in. Oh well, we'll, we'll trek on. So a final hand of notes for that session. I'm gonna preface it by saying I absolutely hate how I played it. I think I played it horrendously. 
And any comments about better lines I could have taken with my exact hand would be appreciated because I'm not too thrilled with the line I took. Two limpers to me. I'm in middle position. I have ace king offsuit. I raised to $20 and the button and the two limpers call. So we're going four ways to a flop which comes king three deuce rainbow. And it's checked to me, so obviously being the pre-flop aggressor and a four-way pot that's dry with top pair, top kicker, I check. At the time, I do this because I really something? thought that Mom I needed help. I needed someone to catch up. Doors. Because the board is so dry, I don't expect anyone to have any two pair combination or four, five, five, six, anything like that. There was really no card on the turn that I'd be disappointed with at all. I felt super comfortable letting people catch up and seeing how it went from there. So that's why I checked at the time. Don't like it in retrospect. The button doesn't disappoint. The button puts out a bet of $40 and the two early position players fold to me, obviously calling turn is the eight of clubs as i now have taken a terribly passive line it makes no sense to lead out here i check again hating my line and the button puts out a bet of 85 dollars at the time this was a pretty large bet like the table really hadn't gotten that big at all and with his exact stack size he only had about 500 behind so now it's time to announce my hand as I think it's most likely he has some kind of king, king, queen, king, jack, something like that where he's going to just level himself into calling it off. So I raised to 225 for the purpose of hoping to get a 300 or 325, how much he have left as a jam on pretty much any river. That's the only part of the hand that I like. I raised to 225 and he thinks about it for a long time. Eventually he folds. Maybe I should have just check called him down because I really don't think a king is folding there. And especially when it's so dry. Like, I don't think any king is ever folding. I think that I just got two streets of bluff catching. But either way, let me know if I'm just supposed to lead out on that board. Super dry, top, top. Go for value from like eights, nines, tens, stuff like that. Either way, that's the line I took and the session was only four hours try to do just try to make it quick and easy get some hands in get some money and head out so i'm actually into the game for 700 because i was up a little bit from one two and only added on a little bit when i went to the two five table in for 700 out for 965 so that was a profit of 265 dollars across four hours so profit of about $65 an hour, and that is a you know, big blind per hour of about 13, which if you're above 10 per hour, you're doing pretty good. So happy with that, happy with a, a quick win at the 2.5 when I've been running pretty bad there recently. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing and there'll be more to come next week. In a quick note, this Saturday, December 21st, the uh, Orange City Poker Room is doing a 1,000, 2,000, 30-minute high hand promotion, so that's pretty significant, and I'm probably going to be there all day Saturday, so if you're in the area you like poker, that's probably the day to, to go and see if you can spike one of those 2K high hands. If you enjoyed the video, thank you, leave a like, and I will see you on Saturday or in my next video.